Uh, how do you know you're going to heaven? Um, be a good person. Be a good person? You ever lie before? Of course, yeah. Alright, you ever steal before? Yes. Jesus said if you look upon a woman in lust, you commit adultery in your heart. You ever look at a person in lust, a man or even a woman? Yeah, well, I mean... Well, you've done it, right? God, God forgives you. God forgives everyone. Well, but you just said you're a good person, right? Yeah. So you're really not a good person against God's Ten Commandments. You said you lie, you stole, you commit adultery in your heart. Look at I, I have before. But you it's still... In, it's in human nature to kind of... That's, that's called sin. It is. Just say, uh, uh, sin is part of human nature. just say a man uh, rapes a woman one time, never does it again. Is he always considered a rapist? Yes. Same thing if you lie once, you always consider a liar. You always consider a thief, an adulterer. Okay. All right. See, if you died right now and you've done these things, you stood before a holy God, what would happen to you? Probably hell. Probably hell? Probably. Because because the Bible says that very clear. It says liars, thieves, adulterers, even homosexuals, sodomites, and drunkards, so on and so on, will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's but crazy. That, I've loved a girl before. What's that? I've been in love with a girl before. As a friend? No, like in love. Like, like a lover, yeah, but that's against God too, lesbianism. How can, how can love be against God? Because it's really not love. I used to be, I used to live as a homosexual and I knew and I knew it was wrong even when I did it. It was against God's standards. See, God's standards higher than ours. But the thing is, even though I'm looking at it as a lesbian, it's still wrong. I'm not going to argue that because I know it's wrong. The Bible tells me so. But if you stood before a holy, righteous God and you died right now, and you broke his laws, lying, stealing, even the lesbian, would you be innocent or guilty now? In the eyes of him or? Uh, in the eyes of a holy, righteous God that created the heavens and earth. God. I think he would forgive me. Would you be, see God, it, the Bible said you'd be guilty. Right, but the Bible also says that God forgives you. How? If, when, Where does it say that? When you find, if you feel fully remor remorseful for what you do, mm -hmm. And truly from remorseful for the sins that you've made. I don't think being a lesbian is a sin at all. But for God it is. The thing is says that homosexuals would be cast in a lake of fire. But imagine you're in that courtroom. That's just say you easy. just say you stole on your taxes, you cheated. Right. You go into a federal court and you're before a, a judge that took an oath and said they're gonna abide by the law and be honest. And you say, Judge, I know I stole my taxes, I'm sorry, can you forgive me? The judge said, Well you should be sorry, but I still have to punish you because I'm righteous, because I took an oath. So you have to go behind jail, go behind bars, right? You got to go away for a couple years. Federal offenses are stronger than the county offenses. Oh, yeah. And then all of a sudden somebody walks in and says, Judge, I never cheated on my taxes, right. but I'll take her place. I'll pay her fine also and go behind bars. Wouldn't you want to thank that person and cling to him and give him a hug? Definitely. But, if but to know who did that for you at the cross? Jesus Christ. He took your punishment for your sins. But are you willing to receive the forgiveness, repent, and tell God, I'm sorry for the things I did. I want to turn from it. And I want to turn my life to you, Jesus. Now you be the king of my life. That's what he did at the cross. And he rose from the dead. I don't want any king of my life to See, be someone to say that I cannot love another person. The God, of their sex. Well, the God said, the God who gave you breath, you're going to do what you want. The God who gave you vision to see, I'm touch. Gonna, I'm going to love who I want, yeah. So but you're not loving God, and you're just so, you're just uh, you're putting God to the side and say, I'm going to do what I want. See what I'm saying? You're making up a graven image to do things you want. But you're making up a God that is in the book. It's in a holy know, book. A holy book. The Holy Bible was written centuries, centuries ago. Yeah, you know? that's how strong it is. Centuries ago, and it's still here. Right. Because God wants to convict your heart because to come to Jesus. Need hope. And that's Jesus Christ. He yeah. is the Word of God. Yeah. He, he said the right word, hope. And hope is in Jesus if you want to repent Love and believe in Him. Jesus too. See, and Jesus died for your sins. If I was with a girl for four years, you cannot tell me that I did not love her. And you cannot tell me that that was wrong. And God's standard is. And God's standard, then that's then that's wrong. Like, so God's wrong, the one who created you? Created the heavens and earth? God's sixth wrong in saying that I can't love another woman. You could love him as a friend, love like as you love your mom or a best friend, but not sexually. That's lust. It's against God's standards. It's against nature. If two girls always got married, There'll be no kids. There'll be there'll be nobody. You wouldn't be here if you had two mommies or two daddies, right? It's against God's design. It's going against nature. But if you're happy, but it's not happy to God. It's disobeying. What did he do to Sodom and Gomorrah? He destroyed it with fire. So how much you willing to even even Paul talked about? Jesus talked about homosexuality in different words, like the word lasciviousness means all sexual sin, and, and homosexual is one of them. So you are completely pure. I'm pure through the blood of Jesus. He made me straight. I have a wife. I got two beautiful kids now. We got a pet dog and a pet cat. You don't drink. You don't smoke. No, no. You don't. I don't desire. Law driving. You don't speed. I I get convict. God convicted my hard driving. I've been slowing up. I slowed up to the speed limit because I want to obey the laws of the land too. I want to be an example for my father in heaven. 
Absolutely. And I want you to have the same hope I got, that your sins could be erased through Jesus Christ and have life. Here, there's something for you to read even, you know? It's something I wrote. Yeah. You know, you can read that and just... Well, God is... To you. God bless you. And what's your name? Megan. Megan. My name's Greg. Greg. All right. To you too, man. God is to die. After this is the judgment.